Good morning, everyone. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Can you believe that February is almost over? Uh, amazing. I'm so glad you're able to join me this morning. And uh, I am recording this, so we will, I'll post it later today or tomorrow so that you have this as a reference. So let's dive in and get started. Uh, we're going to uh, go over Heritage Makers Art, promotions and sales resources, and our next meeting. So um, as par for the course, a video will be coming soon. I hope you did see the uh, February video that had some fun stuff for love year round. Doesn't have to just be Valentine's as well as some everyday art and some doodles and things. So make sure you take advantage of that. I wanna remind you that we are still working on Y Photo. Um, it's close, but it is not ready. Uh, we are so hopeful that we'll have this any time now. Um, we, I know we keep saying that, but uh, our developers are working very hard on it and um, trying to get those last little things worked out so that we make sure and give you something that you will enjoy using. So that is coming. And as a reminder, you do not need to do anything with your Heritage Makers projects. They will automatically be moved into the new system as well as your photos. Uh, if you're bringing things over from snap to finish, your photos will be moved over and any projects you've ordered, you'll not be able to edit your projects from snap to finish, but you will be able to reorder those. So that will be coming soon. We will let you know through Facebook and email when that is available and that you can start using that. Our promotions for, oh, I forgot to change that. It says January, February, but actually we are extending this. So it's now through March 31st, the entire site is on sale 15% off. We will have a new graphic that you can share with your um, teams so that you can get them enjoying this great special. We've seen a lot of people ordering things. And so we're glad that you're taking advantage of this. And this is on Heritage Makers as well as Snap to Finish. So extend through March 31st, the site-wide sale. I wanna remind you that um, all uh, all our Memories for Life items are on sale. We have not discounted the core items. We are working on that um, as we are not uh, reordering any of these items due to uh, increases in pricing for getting our supplies for this. Uh, so make sure that you take advantage of these great sales. And uh, I do update the core, actually not the core product list, but the discount continued product list so you know where we're at if you're getting low on things there's a 15 under section and um, things are sold out to all, there's actually out of stock list as well so take advantage of that sale and then uh, anthology DIY and those are now sold individually they have been for several months but they are also 75 percent off um, great items, especially for if you're doing something for uh, National Scrapbooking Day uh, that's coming up in May. Uh, take advantage of these uh, items that you can use for giveaways and for uh, projects that are easy to make within your events. Okay, uh, most people are up and running on Flash, and we're grateful for that. I know there are still a few people out there that are struggling, um, and so we have provided instructions. Um, they are very detailed. If you're still having problems, please, please email customer service. They are setting up appointments to connect with people if they're not able to get them up and running through uh, just an email communication. They will go through with you and get things set up. So please, if you're having any struggles or if you know of anyone that is, make sure that they email customer service. And uh, you can do that at support and I'll put this in the chat box at heritagemakers.com. And I know there's been some people that have said that it, they shouldn't um, be running in this type of environment, but uh, there are actually quite a few large companies out there that have uh, their own proprietary software like we do that runs on Flash and Adobe has provided these workarounds for people that still need to ride, run Flash. So it is very safe. You shouldn't run other applications on this, but to run Heritage Makers, there is no issue doing that. So please make sure that you download these instructions. Um, and if it still doesn't work, then uh, make sure you contact customer service so they can definitely get you set up and working. As far as resources go, uh, we have our Longevity, our YGY photo distributor group, which is a uh, by uh, approval. And this is for distributors. We update our social images there. 
We share information about any changes that are being made. It's a great place to get information. So if you have anyone on your team that's not a part of this group, make sure that they know they can join. They do need to be a distributor. We do verify distributor accounts for that. Uh, the YouTube channel is where you will find things like the recording from today, our Heritage Makers art previews. The easiest way to find it is to go to YouTube and search for YGY photo, which is right here. You can see me circling that. And when you do, then you'll get to this page. We have multiple playlists. We have tons of videos that um, will walk you through different things. We have all the recordings from um, the Photo U and Studio U classes. And these again are great resources for showing people how to use um, our different systems. So take advantage of that as well. We also have photo product videos on the official Longevity video site. You can get there by going to video.longevity.com. And then you can uh, navigate on the left-hand side down to the photo category. And you'll see there's about a dozen there. Um, that are flagged for photos. Some of them are create with me. Some of them are more educational as far as how to do things or inspirational. Um, so take advantage of these videos uh, for training your teams or for your events, or if you just want to go and get inspired, there's some fun things that you can do there. Again, that's video.youngevity.com. There are also lots of videos for all of Youngevity's products there if you're looking to learn about some of the other company products. And then, of course, our resource center is a great resource. We have blog posts. We have our resources and project pages. Uh, the project pages are where you can find, again, a lot of different resources. And now that I think about it, I'm not sure that I have this open. So let's see if I can get this open quickly. I'm going to go to Youngevity. Oops. At the very bottom, so you'll see you have your navigation at the top, but at the very bottom, we also have uh, this link that goes to product brochures, flyers, and catalogs, and then you can come down here to photo, and it's divided into different categories. Here are members for life. This is where you can find those um, out of stock and discontinued product lists, as well as information about some of the different collections. There are project sheets here for photo ideas and inspiration. Uh, lots of fun ideas, even some digital ones in there. And then for the anthology discontinued list, that one is found here. So if you're looking for some great ideas or for information, the Resource Center is a great place to go. So take advantage of that. Uh, another great resource is the Longevity Go To app. You can run this off of your phone or on your desktop. Uh, they look slightly different depending on where you're running them from, but they have the same information, which is social squares you can sh uh, share, videos that you can share, PDFs that you can share. And the great thing is that when you share them, you can then track who uh, opens them um, and follow up with them. So it's a great way to keep contact with people um, and make sure that you're getting them the information they need to know about the company. Okay. Short, quick, to the point. Any questions before we wrap up? And our next call is on March 23rd, same time, same link. We'll post that again. Um, but again, I do appreciate you coming. Any last questions before you head off and make it a day? Yes, that's a good tip, Helen. Uh, if you're using the app, you want to refresh it by pulling down from the top or even about the middle. Sometimes when I pull from the top, it actually shuts it down. So yes, make sure that you're um, pulling down to get the latest content. That's a great tip. Thank you. Anyone else have any questions about anything? Okay, if not, go make it a wonderful day. We'll see you back here on March 23rd. And we'll keep you updated on all things through Facebook and emails. Thank you so much for joining me. Bye.